Hi, I'm Ryan from Tempered Monster. Today we are going to show how to add products to WooCommerce. You will see the ways to add new products, find out where you should go in order to add the products and how to make your product appear on the website. Alright, let's get it started. First of all, you should go to the WordPress dashboard. There you should access the products section. This section lists all products available in your store. Currently this template has a lot of sample products available and we are working going to add one more product to it. The product section has two valuable buttons for adding the product. It's a new button that adds products through the website interface we are going to use and the import button that can import CSV files uh, through with the product data in bulk to the, directly to the WordPress database. We are going to click add new and add data for our new product. The page is loading. We can see that the product name should be defined at the first place. We are going to add the product called Pencils Set. We are going to add the product description, full description of the product. And we are going to select a category for our product. We are going to select the stationary category for our product. The product categories are used for organizing your products in your uh, website. The section with the product data has information regarding different product types. You can see simple product, group product, external affiliate product and variable products. We are going to work with a simple product because it's a main product, main type of product commonly used on websites. The group product may consist of several SKUs and the external affiliate product is a product uh, that you can add as affiliate product or from external website. The variable product is the product that has several or a lot of variations of the same uh, product. You can also see the virtual checkbox that allows you to set a virtual feature for your product. For example, it can be used for providing the services um, you sell on your website. The downloadable section says that your product can be downloaded. For example, you may sell images, books and other items that should be downloaded as a digital product. In the general section you can see the price and sales price section. I'm going to say the regular price and the sale price. The schedule feature allows you to add particular date of starting and ending and sale price. One of the interesting feature is inventory section. There you can use SKUs. I'm using the following as a sample number and the manage stock option. The manage stock option allows you to manage stock within the WordPress and directly. Basically it will manage the stock amount for you. For example I'm going to set 20 items and as soon as the customer orders the product the amount in stock will be decreased. The system manages this stock automatically. You may disable this feature or use it. It all depends on your store and uh, type uh, of products you sell and the way you manage your products. Allow becorders section allow you to um, 
sell products that are out of stock. You may use allow, allow but notify customer or do not allow option. Low stock threshold is the amount of products that considered as a low stock value and uh, when this value will be reached the administrator of a website will receive appropriate email. You may also set sold individually option uh, in different kind of cases. The shipping section allows defining information regarding shipment. I'm going to use the sample values just to show how to uh, add this data. Shipping class, you may define different kind of shipping classes. So far, uh, I have not such information. The linked products section has upsells and cross sells. The upsells are products that you sell on your website on the product page in addition to your current product and such products will be available as recommended products uh, on your product page for example we are going to show to show some kind of products with the title pen and calculator there we go. You can also select cross sales products in the similar way the cross sales products show up in the shopping cart uh, for making additional sales uh, of your products. The attribute sections allows adding different kind of product attributes like colors, sizes and so on. You may add them and use for your product. The advanced section has several options. Uh, the purchase note will allow your customer to get notification when uh, the customer orders the product. Basically it can be any kind of information related to this product or uh, information regarding the processing the order or some kind of specific information for this particular product. You may also set the menu order and disable enable reviews for the product. The option get more options allows adding additional extensions and features to your store. Basically those extensions are paid extensions. We are not going to cover them in this tutorial. And this section has a short description of the product. Sample description of the product. Short. We have added a short description and now we are going to add images for our product. Click on the product image and set product image. I am going to upload files and upload the image file. I have set the product image. Then I would like to make a product gallery that has uh, several images, basically a set of images. I'm going to add a main image and several more images will be added. I'm going to upload them for you. I'm going to upload this image and one more image. The product images were added. Now we have filled out all the data for your for our product, specified basic information for the product, and we are ready to publish our product. You can publish it immediately or set a schedule for your product. I'm going to click on the publish button.
the product is been added there we go the product is added to our store we are going to access this product using the link on the product page yay this is how our product shows up on the website we can see the product title we can see the price sample description short description amount of items in stock our SKU uh, number for this product and images in the gallery there we can see full description for our product and the products in the you may also like section in the upsell products let's go to the shop page and locate our product the shop page has all the products and we are going to select the stationary category with our products the page is loaded we are scrolling through to the page 2 this is our product we have located it in our stationary category we can see that the product was added successfully and shows up in our store in this tutorial we have found out how to add products to WooCommerce added a sample product and went through the entire process of adding the product now you know how to set prices how to select the category for your product and how to make the product appear on your website like the video and remember that you can always go to the templatemaster.com website and get a modern full featured template for your store find a template with the design you like or simply customize your store with our services feel free to use the chat if you would like to get additional information regarding certain template or get the website customized thank you bye